All right, Gordo. Throw me the lob. Whoa! What the hell was that? What are you trying to do? You trying to kill the new vice president of regional distribution? You got it? <laughs> That's right. I am one-eighth up the ladder in that doggy-dog world of corrugated boxes. Congratulations. <laughs> Everything changes so fast, Gordo. I'm not kids anymore, man. That job I used to have, it's now my career. That girl you used to date, that's Sherry. That's your wife. Say goodbye to childhood. We're grown-ups. Grown-ups. <laughs> hey! Come on. Run! I figured Saturday for your birthday, take you to a nice romantic dinner. Just you, me, and Calvin. Fine, then you can go home with Calvin. I was just kidding, mush mush. I wasn't mush mush. <laughs> you guys are never gonna believe this. Why is it so dark in here? We were about to have sex. No, really. <laughs> Calvin, really? <laughs> Read this. Anthony, my own roommate, clean me out. Dear Calvin, move to Florida. Trying out for pro golf tour? Anthony, P.S. I'm gay? This is a shock. Uh, pro golf tour? <laughs> That's what you find, a shock? Uh, how about that he clean me out? How about that he's gay? <laughs> you didn't know that. Sherry. Are you kidding? The man knows all the lyrics to Funny Girl. <laughs> Oh, oh, and no one felt it was important to fill me in on this. You two seemed happy. <laughs> what I, I can't afford that pad by myself. You guys know that. Calvin, if you need a new roommate, my girlfriend from camp just moved into town. Her name is Robin Carlucci. <laughs> what? What's with the head shaking? Ignore him. Her name is Robin Carlucci, and she's really cute. Well... She fine, huh? No, like real fine or kind of fine. I'll talk to her. Just be considerate, leave the seat down, and don't walk around in your underpants. <laughs> That's no problem. I need wear underpants. <laughs> now, look, I started at the state level, right? right? Pretty soon, I'm junior senator of the great state of Illinois. Proud tradition, too. Stephen Douglas. Honest Abe, lots of glory, lots of glory. Hey, see, Cal, you say you're a grown-up, but you haven't changed in 10 years. Look, why does it always have to be about the glory? No, no, it's like in Little League. Two outs, bottom of the ninth, and you got to steal home and be the hero. Coach told me to steal home because you were 0 for 50. I was 0 for 6. 6! <laughs> and it wasn't my fault. I had a huge strike zone for a child. <laughs> And the real reason you stole home was Felicia Felton was watching, and you had to be the hero. Felicia who? Please, stop. You were so in love with her. So were you. Did I make her an ashtray? <laughs> it was a candlestick holder. You worked on it for like a month. You even painted little helicopters on the side. They were doves. Oh, doves. <laughs> Very romantic. I can't believe you remember that. <laughs> what do you want, Gordo? 
Felicia Felton, man, she was perfect. No, she wasn't, Cal. So you still think like that? Nothing is perfect. Look, my job isn't, but I go. Mm -hmm. My marriage isn't, but I love my wife. And whatever became of Felicia Felton, I can tell you one thing. She ain't perfect. She never was. Close, though. Oh, she was very close. <laughs> <laughs> Felicia, let me see the ring. I told him I'd have to think about it. What's to think about? If you don't want to marry him, I'll take him. Sometimes, Maureen, I feel like he says all the right things, but for all the wrong reasons. Oop, somebody ought to lock me up, leaving the two most beautiful women in Chicago waiting. What's wrong with me? Hi. Hey, Maureen. Hey. <sighs> we've, uh, we've been here before, right? Yeah, you don't remember? Of course I do. <laughs> it was the night. What night? What happened? We came here for dinner. We'd only been seeing each other a few times, and <laughs> Marcus did something. This one thing that made me think he might be the one. It was just after dessert when Marcus went off to the restroom, and he had the waitress bring over a cocktail napkin with a note on it. It said, it's difficult for me to tell you this, so I'm writing it down. Other men will love you for your beauty, but for me, it'll always be the sadness in your eyes. Did you give her my note? <laughs> All right, let's try the blonde in the back door. the napkin. Oh, that is so romantic. Mm, of course he's the one. Marcus, how did you think of that? Well, uh, <laughs> see, actually, I have a confession to make. Um, I never thought I could be that romantic. You know, it's just my emotions. They came pouring out of me like water. Just tell me, are there any more out there like you? Girl, no. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin is a great guy. I'm having second thoughts about this whole living with a guy thing. Hi, Gordon. What do you mean you can't work the Jiffy Pop? Wait, hold on. No, no, it's not like that. The man he was living with left him for another guy and moved to Florida. Oh, he's gay? Yeah, he left a note and everything. Honey, did you try shaking the handle? He got dumped, huh? Is the stove on? Okay, you go ahead. This might take a while. No, Gordon, not the microwave. So Sherry told me all about your situation. I'm sorry. Are you hurting? Ah, don't worry about it. It's cool. You know, Anthony went off to follow his passion. You got to respect that. That's a great attitude. I'd be a wreck. How long did you guys live together? Two years. Hey, we had some good times, too. So no matter what, I wish him the best. Wow, you're really handling this well. It's nice to meet someone so together. You know, if it weren't for the sexual preference issue, I might have fallen for you myself. <laughs> what, what sexual preference issue? We're attracted to the same gender. <laughs> really? Oh. Well, uh, that's cool. <laughs> Real cool. <laughs> hey, hey, counselor, hope. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about the Wyckoff case. I was rooting for you to get it. Mm. Well, next time you root for me, try it without your lips on the boss's ass. <laughs> Just to show you my heart's in the right place, I'm gonna let you do all the research. <laughs> Cal, you're early. I don't want to be late for tip-off. Hey, did you get my message? Yes, the best six words I've heard all week. My wife has a lesbian friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, and she's cute, too. My wife has a cute lesbian <laughs> friend? <laughs> From camp. <laughs> Can you excuse just... Oh, yeah. Do you have to... Please, God. My wife, a lesbian friend? From camp. <laughs> 
I don't think I need to say any more. Excuse me, do you know where I can find... I'm sorry, I don't work here. Felicia Felton? Yes? It's me, Calvin. Jackson High. Calvin? Calvin Frazier? Yeah. Oh my God, I had the biggest crush on you. You did? <laughs> you have no idea how many nights since high school I've dreamt of your arms around me. I always knew something was up. <laughs> I could tell from the way you used to stare at me at ceramics class. Got you? Yeah. I heard you're doing really well now. Corrugated boxes, right? How'd you know that? I love boxes. Cardboard. Poster board. Mm. Collapsible. Mm. Calvin, take me here. Take me right now. Mm. <laughs> Calvin. Calvin. Calvin who? Calvin Frazier. Um, we went to high school together. A ceramics class, 10th grade. I made you that little candle holder with the little doves on the side. You mean that ashtray? <laughs> or it could be used as a candle holder. Calvin Frazier? I do remember you. Really? Ah, there's my Calvin. baby. Hey. Ah, what's going on here? Making time with my girl? <laughs> Oh, no, we went to high school together, man. Oh, old flame. Oh, well, good-looking brother like yourself, I should be worried, huh? <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> no, we, we better go. We don't want to be late for our reservations. Bye. Bye. Did you see that, Gordon? Did you see the way that little bye just rolled off her tongue? Yeah. And it just kept rolling straight onto his tongue. <laughs> hey, maybe after they have sex, she'll put a cigarette out in your ashtray. <laughs> it was a candlestick holder. <laughs> Gordo. Yeah? I need you to do me a favor. I need you to invite that chump from your firm to Sherry's birthday dinner. Why, so Marcus can humiliate me in front of my wife? No, it's not like I can't do that on my own, thanks. <laughs> Marcus comes. He brings Felicia. I make my move. All right, tell you what. I make this shot, you invite him. Uh-uh. My party, my guest list, my shot. Give me the rock count. Uh-uh. With the way you shoot, shooting for my destiny, out of the question. Oh, and backwards, you bring... Oh. My God. It's fate. Tomorrow night, Felicia Felton gets another shot at Calvin Frazier. It's fate. It's fate. Fate. <laughs> now that I know you're listening, any news on the lesbian front? <laughs> Gonna be hitting on my dates, are you? Only the ones with the cute butts. Damn, you do have a lot of common. <laughs> Can I ask you for a few sexual pointers? Yeah. Truth be told, I do have a few weak links in my repertoire. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can help you, but shoot. All right, all right. It's a little embarrassing, but where? Exactly. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Where exactly is the G Spa? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Don't get me wrong. I know the zip code. <laughs> I just can't find the exact address. <laughs> I kind of keep circling the block. But why would you care? Don't push it, honey. 
just be grateful he's asking. <laughs> Jerry meant that he was sensitive, but I thought he was gay. <laughs> yeah, Robin, that, that gay story get a little tired. <laughs> so, what have you been up to since high school? I just got this big promotion. Corrugated boxes. Very sexy business. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> You know, I used to always wonder why Gordo was so distracted at work. I thought at first it was because of ADD. <laughs> now I see it's because of BWS. BWS? Beautiful wife syndrome. <laughs> Marcus. Hi. You know that job I told you about? Actually, it's a springboard into politics. Really shouldn't be talking about this, but I'm kind of being groomed to be a junior senator. Oh. That's okay. Yeah. You don't have to talk about it. <laughs> She's playing hard to get. You been thinking about our future, baby? I have, Marcus. I'm really giving it a lot of thought. I'm just saying, you need to stop waiting. Go ahead. Exhale. <laughs> well, you have to start to realize that there are more important things in life than power. I mean, it... excuse me one second. Hello? Oh, baby, I told you not to call me here. Baby, look, baby. One second, just give me one second. Baby, look, I will be over there later, baby. baby don't cry. Look, just start the, one second, one second. Just start the bubble bath without me. Just come, I'm gonna, just give me one is second. It, is it working? Because I'm gonna need another quarter. <laughs> I'm not being groomed to be anybody's junior senator. I had a feeling. In fact, I might not even be registered to vote. <laughs> I just remembered how funny you were. In high school, you used to make me laugh all the time. Oh, really? Well, I must have lost my touch because I didn't make you laugh once in there tonight. It was easier in high school. Oh, everything was. Kind of funny how things change, huh? Look at your life and wonder how you got here. Hmm. Well, my mom and dad always told me it was the stork, but I found some literature in the upper right corner of my dad's closet. Told me, ah, made you laugh. No, seriously. I think it's the things we say yes to. You see, an opportunity comes along that presents another one. And pretty soon, somebody offers you something that just looks so good on the surface. You have to say yes. And you don't even stop to think about it. Because if you did, you might say no. Exactly. Thanks. For what? Making me stop to think. I can't believe Marcus. No, Gordon. It's not the way it looks. It's exactly the way it looks. The guy ordered a two-pound lobster. <laughs> Did Sherry have a nice birthday party? Yeah. Okay. Then try to think of it as very expensive for her. You go get lucky tonight? Oh, definitely. Hey, you threw her a nice party, you let her know you can. Leaving me in the restaurant? On the other hand, you may have to just write it off as a complete and total loss.
Make me an ashtray, Calvin. It was a candlestick holder. Calvin. Take a while. You better order out.